Hi, my name is Steve Wilcox. I'd like to present to you the Ford 2020 multiplayer concept. Um, as those of you who were here for the midterm saw, the, uh, the concept is really kind of loud. Um, it kind of is geared towards this rock and roll lifestyle. Um, it's a two plus two plus one solar assisted all wheel drive electric anti wagon, is what I'm calling it. Um, and it's for a generation guitar hero. Now, this, this car is designed for and intended for um, this generation guitar hero, which is this group of individuals who grew up playing this video game uh, called Guitar Hero, which basically allows people without any musical talent to play their favorite rock songs. And it's really kind of swept the nation and the whole world and it's become this um, big to do. And it's brought a lot of people into the rock and roll lifestyle and it's introduced this style of music to a lot of uh, new people. Um, so this generation's growing up with this ideal of being a rock star. So they have to live this double life where they, during the day, they have jobs, they go to school, they take care of children, and you know they live relatively regular lifestyles. But uh, when the weekend comes around, they want their opportunity to go out and you know, see a concert with their friends. They want to um, live that rock and roll lifestyle that they desperately have been yearning for their entire lives. Um, they're a very high energy group of people. Um, Monster Energy Drinks, I thought was a good uh, visual cue to kind of illustrate what that means. Um, this group of uh, people, they, struggle to have all the energy necessary to be able to go throughout their regular day and then at the end of the weekend to still be able to go out with their friends and party all night on the rock star. Uh, they have a sense of rebellion to them uh, when they get this opportunity. Uh, they want to live this rock star lifestyle. That means no cheesy station wagons, no minivans. Uh, and you know, overall they're just grown up kids. They're, want to do all the things that they have desired since they were little. So as part of the, uh, the multiplayer concept, I wanted to incorporate some of these um, smooth underbody surfaces uh, and an aerodynamic exterior to make the vehicle more um, efficient. Uh, also, the solar film is to assist the electric. And then lightweight in-wheel hub motors to kind of open up the interior volume of the vehicle. And my benchmark is the Dodge Mag, so it's a relatively massive vehicle. Um, as part of our phase one testing with EXA, I was able to develop a rough shape of what I thought my design would end up looking like. And what I found was that there was a lot of things wrong with um, my ideals of what I thought aerodynamics really was. And I was able to take that and work towards a more aerodynamically efficient vehicle while still staying in the boundaries of this rock star theme that I'm going for. So as part of my design studies, I went through these different stages of different shapes and eventually um, came up with a more aerodynamic version of, of the vehicle, a much more aerodynamic shape um, while still keeping this kind of aggressive Rockstar feel to it. Um, I was able to cut down the drag coefficient by almost a whole point, which is pretty amazing. And I was really pleased with the results that uh, I got with this model. From there, I also um, continued to develop the design um, using kind of the gestural theme of you know different electric guitars. It kind of speaks to this Rockstar lifestyle and ended up with a theme that I feel um, speaks exactly what my concept is supposed to be. So as part of my final iteration, um, I placed the vehicle in front of the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which I thought was very appropriate. Uh, packaging, I would have, as I said, in-wheel hub motors. Um, the great thing about this package is that it, being a two plus two plus one, 
you've got your front two occupants facing forward, and the occupant row directly behind that is attached by a kind of a wishbone structure um, where they share the same spine and they would be facing the opposite direction. The uh, third row of seats would be uh, placed in between the rear wheels and would be able to either seat one full size occupant or two smaller occupants. Um, and then as far as materials go, I just kind of wanted to go with just some real interesting um, materials that would really showcase what this vehicle is all about. Um, this kind of figured uh, swirl paint I thought would go great on this darker surface using <coughs> kind of playing up a tattoo like feel and then uh, for the interior components you know you have options of having um, different materials and then as an afterthought David Leeds had this great idea to have these projections coming out of the headlights where you can project onto the wall in front of you Guitar Hero and play with all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.